Hi, my name is Yona. I'm the after school leader at Field Teen Center, and today I'm going to talk about what I was like as a teenager. I actually have a bunch of art and writing and different things that I made as a teen that I can show you, and we can see exactly what I was interested in. So I liked to do these really intricate tiny drawings uh, and I decided they would be cool I Spy pages. So I started working on this little I Spy book that I kind of cleaned up um, towards the end of high school and a little bit in college, but most of these are ideas that I at least started when I was in high school. So they all had little hidden objects. This one, I think you have to try to find a certain number of, well, let's see, what did I have? a balloon elephant, two cameras, a helmet, three UFOs, a keyhole, three sets of tiny footprints, and four pieces of popcorn. So I'll let you contemplate that and see what you can see. This one is a tea party. You have to find three apple cores, three spilled teacups, someone taking a nap, a heart-shaped slice of cake, two birds, five top hats, and two acorns. And I think what I was doing was just drawing them and then I would decide after, based on what I'd drawn, what you had to find. This one is a bayou. You have to find two tongue-tied frogs, three mammals, that one's a science quiz, <laughs> a frog hiding underwater, three pairs of sunglasses, six dragonflies, four turtles, and 10 toadstools. Also, let me tell you, the Geico Gecko is here, so see if you can find him. This might be the last one it is all right this one is a shout out to where I grew up uh, so it is a chili pepper eating contest and you have to find a belt a satellite dish there is a typo in this <laughs> a satellite dish three eggs four bones three lost quail babies that's another typo by the way pac-man and a love letter So I actually grew up in New Mexico. Uh, my equivalent of when I was your age, I had to walk uphill in the snow both ways. Uh, I actually grew up in New Mexico where my nearest neighbor lived 10 miles away from me. So I wasn't really walking anywhere, but it did snow, believe it or not. Uh, so I did a lot of reading and writing and drawing for fun because that's what there was um, to do by myself in the desert. So I kept a lot of that writing. And I can show some of that too. This is a dream journal that I started keeping um, a while ago when I was in high school, um, when Bush was still president. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to read all of these at you, but it's just kind of cool to see. So uh, I can flip through and see like what kinds of things was I thinking about? Uh, what was I stressed out about? That really tells me a lot of that. And it's really interesting to see how my handwriting has changed and how the way I talk has changed and kind of hasn't. Uh, let's see how far this goes. This was, okay, so that's two years. I didn't do this every single day, but still for two years off and on, I was keeping these dreams. Okay, so this one is college now. Oh. This one is so long. This is like a multi-page dream. Look, it starts here on this page and then it continues for one, two, a whole other page. That's wild. All right. Da, da, da. So this is still freshman year. Oh, that's another long one. I think this is into, this is from sophomore year of high school into my sophomore year of college. Oh my God. That sounds like a cool dream. Oh, wow, no, into my junior year of college. That's cool. Yeah, so I have this dream journal and I had this creative writing class where we made little books. So this is the first one that I did and this is the second one. And the way we did it, we ordered them through our school and the company, it's called Nationwide. So if you're interested. And they sent us these special pages uh, I can't, I think this is the printed copy, but we had pages that we drew on or printed on 
and then they would copy those and bind them. So I had two copies. One was the original pages that I had drawn on, and then there was the printed version. So I made myself a little table of contents, <laughs> and it has a bunch of poems and things that I made, little drawings and doodles. I liked to do little doodles in the margins of what I was writing. And uh, a lot of it, both the dream journal and the kinds of stories and drawings that I was really interested in making. Here, I'll, I'll find some of my drawings for you because they're in here. I was just so angsty about this silly boy who I have not talked to in like 10 years and I really don't want to talk to ever again. Uh, but it was very important to me at the time. Uh, and it is cool to look back and see what I was thinking about and to know like, you know, if I could go back in time and give my teenage self some advice, it would be one, to just stop being friends with this girl who is upsetting me all the time. Like, you don't have to be friends with her. It doesn't matter if you have all the same classes with her. It's a choice you don't have to make. Uh, and to like not fret about this boy because it doesn't matter. <laughs> it feels, it felt like it did because I was stuck in the middle of the desert with these people. Um, but now I'll never have to see them again. And I've had so many other nice people in my life. That doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, teenage me was a lot like adult me. Um, I had much longer hair. My hair came down to like the middle of my back and it's very curly when it's long, but I would straighten it every single day. So try to picture that. Uh, but I liked a lot of the same things. I liked video games. I liked books. I liked drawing. I liked writing. And as an adult, I still like and do all those things. I just don't care what people think about it as much anymore. And in high school, I was so anxious. Oh my gosh. So uh, I hope that whatever you are excited about doing today, that you give yourself permission to enjoy it because it's your life and not somebody else's. And you don't have to wait for permission for other people to approve of your hobbies. You get to like the things you like. I hope that was interesting learning about my teenage life. Um, if you want me to embarrass myself more fully and read some of these things, uh, give us a comment. Maybe I can be convinced. We'll see.